What's up, guys? Welcome to the Something Stony Podcast. Welcome, guys. Yay! So, uh, so I, let's let's talk a little bit about the the show's a little different tonight because. I, you know, before I started, we started, you know, Justin, you were about to send me the invite. I was all ready and I was all excited. And then I went on Instagram live to talk about my hat, which I'll tell you about, guys about later, but I'm not wearing. And I, I, I decided, and Ryan showed up and I was like, oh my God, you should join, you should come on our show and get drunk. And so, yay. Our welcome, so our guest. Say no more. <laughs> my, this, is, yeah, yeah. this is my, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is my dear friend. I love this man, uh, Ryan Coltrary. Oh. He's my Sound Scary co-host, and we've done, we've been through hell and back together, and, uh, you know, and it's just, mm -hmm. it's a big group, it's a big circle jerk of friends right now. <laughs> big it circle is. jerk. Uh, a good thing I'm not wearing any pants. Thank God. I'm not either. easier. Visual, exactly. visual medium, y'all. You can't prove that I am. That's true. That's true. That's true. You can't, we're, you can't get canceled that way. We're That's none right. of us are wearing pants right now. Not, yeah. None of That's us. True. Yeah. So no we do it. Any the wiser. Mm -hmm. Something. Well, yeah. Thanks, but thanks for having me on, guys. The timing was, uh, it was good. You know, I was just settling into a strong beverage for the evening and came on and saw Jimmy on Instagram and he's like, just take this Zoom call and be on a show. I'm like, I, I, I don't know what's happening, but okay. Yeah. What are you drinking tonight? Just, First of all, that's important. What are you drinking? Oh, uh, I am drinking a, a Anacetta, which is a, an Italian liqueur made from Everclear. So I'm already in a bit of a place and I've only had. He's frozen. Wait, you froze. You only had what? Ah, there you go. How, far, back. How, how much of that did we get? We heard pretty much I only, and I've had. Oh, I was going to say, and I've only had like half a glass and I'm already in a, in a real place. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Cool. Now, yeah, Justin, it's, how it's... are you feeling, man? You're, oh, you're. I haven't even really started. I smoked a little bit earlier, but I, uh, I figured I'd smoke a, a joint on the show for the first time. I just, I got to be. I got to be careful. I got my fan going and shit because smoking a joint indoors is ballsy, especially in an apartment complex. But mm -hmm. it's okay. I cracked a window. It should be good. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And uh, I guess I'm not. I'm not there yet. I've got my. I'm, I'm good. But I. Uh, I do want to say, like, I'm a little bummed out that you didn't call me last night because. So Ryan, Justin, so, Justin's thing. He loves to take um, weed walks, and it's mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. And we've done that before. It's a lot of fun where he just goes and he smokes and he gets, you know, enjoys the atmosphere, enjoys the walk, mm -hmm. gets real high. Now, he had a night of that last night. He didn't call me at all. Oh, I, I, no. I'm, I'm a little hurt, but I, Justin, what the fuck happened last oh, night? Tell man. us about it. Oh, uh, yeah. We were talking a little bit before the show. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I take uh, weed walks whenever I can. Usually, if, mm -hmm. like, if I don't have to work early or at all the next day, then uh, the night before, usually around like 11 o'clock, maybe sometimes a little bit later. That way, I'm sure that no one else is really out because um, I live next to a, a pretty nice residential uh, neighborhood. So I'll mm. just walk through there and, and, and smoke. Do you want to give the address so we, and, we can uh, go visit? Yeah, we can, we can <laughs> save that for a special episode. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Share yeah. it. <laughs> and... Um, so, but yeah, and I'll listen to music or whatever. It's just kind of mm -hmm. therapeutic. Well, uh, last night, for whatever reason, I just, I was, I was very motivated and I smoked three joints uh, in a row, like back to back to back, uh, which I've never done before. So, uh -huh. and, but I, I don't know, I, I smoked one, which is a pretty, pretty, it was a thick boy. It was a pretty big one. And, um, that's what she said. And, uh, this, this guy, this guy. <laughs> Um, Damn it, Jimmy. <laughs> so, so I had one, and then I don't know. I was just I was feeling the music. I was feeling the high. I was just in a really good spot. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna swing by my apartment. I'm gonna get another one. So I did, and then I was like, all right, my uh, my dogs are barking. My feet are getting a little a little uh, you know tired right now. 
So I'm going to go back to my apartment and went back, but I was still kind of in the mood to be outside and listen to music. So I just chilled out on the balcony and I decided, you know what? I'm going to get a little crazy. I'm going to go for another one. So I had three uh, in a row, which I've never done before. And um, Damn. It, was, it was still manageable the whole time. I don't know what was going on because normally I can't get past one. Mm-hmm. But uh, really, yeah, I thought I thought you've done twice before. I thought I've seen you do twice before. I've no. not seen that. Well, I mean, to be fair, I'll, I'll I have like a little like a little pipe that I'll smoke like during the day. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah, I've never really done two two joints, especially back to back, let alone three. Um, Damn. How did you feel? What was like the what? How how what was the highlight? Describe the eye. Um, it was just really, I mean, obviously I was like way up there, but it was still (laughs) manageable and it was, it was just really enjoyable. I think that's what inspired me to kind of keep going was I was just in a really good spot. I was feeling the music. I was literally on my balcony fucking like dancing and like, and it was just, it was just a good time. So I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm going to go all in on this feeling and just keep it going. Okay, yeah, that, that uh-huh. I'm so I'm so mad you didn't call me because <laughs> that would have been amazing. And I, <laughs> I'm I'm not mad per se, but I'm like, like we we share right Ryan. I haven't I've seen Ryan super drunk, like we both have seen each yeah. other super drunk, and he's seen me drunk at a party, like. I mean, really? <laughs> I think, yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to imagine <laughs> what you would be like, super drunk, and I don't, I don't picture whatever, being whatever you're picturing. It's that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is a. I'm a very. Yeah, no. I it's. I, I don't drink a lot, so like for me, like my buddy uh, Rusty used to. Whenever we'd cover at Comic Con, uh, he would always like go, "You, you get drunk like a 13 year old girl." And completely <laughs> are, absolutely true yeah. because literally i'll have like two drinks and i'll be like hey, David. yeah i think I, yeah, the problem I, is the problem is is that you're already halfway there when you're sober so you know j- just because you're you have such an eccentric personality which is great yeah that's that's part of what's so charming about you but uh Aww. But uh, yeah, I can I can see that getting a little uh, out of control with a few drinks. Oh God, poor poor yeah that that dude that party. Uh, but we had so much fun. Oh my God, it was so much fun. That was oh. that was a great party. But at a certain point, you started to look like you were stuck on like a pirate ship in a maelstrom, but you were on land. You were just whoa, <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, was, I still got my was, sea legs. It was something. Yeah, I, but I did make a friend. Yeah, I, I made a friend from the. Uh, I, I always, I always make friends with the the bartenders. What, one man's friend is another man's hostage. Yeah, and, and this poor <laughs> poor guy, I I was like, every time he'd come by, I was like, David, I was like, give me, and and he made the, and we're actually we are still friends. We actually talk every so often. I love this guy. He was adorable. It was awesome. I I, I love bartenders. I love like well, well David plied us the free drinks at home. So what's not to love? Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty great. He's mm-hmm. now so when we uh, Justin and I have talked about getting having a few drinks cuz neither of us really drink. So we mm. it's the other stuff for us. And um I I don't know. We one night we will do that. Maybe we'll have you on and we can just I, I have that bottle of Jack, the Jack Daniels whiskey, a little tiny bottle. Oh, there you go, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So see, I, I, you, you chose, you chose a terrible first guest. I'm not, I'm not much of a smoker myself, but the, the hard alcohol, I got you. It's there. all, it's all about substances. It's all and about trust substance me, abuse. Justin, when I, I've seen this boy, very, 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 very drunk. That's adorable. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, Ryan? We were at the Top Gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, my my uh my my penchant for oozing gets me in trouble from time to time. It's not at the point that it's like, you know, I've learned how to curve it. I'm hitting my thirties. I don't recover as well as I 
used to in my 20s, but early 20s, Ryan, it's a miracle he saw his 30s. Well, okay. I think it, I, here's the thing. I think it stunted your growth, too. <laughs> really? Really, Jimmy? <laughs> We're going to do short joke. Fuck, man. It's a low blow. <laughs> I, I'm so, I, Ryan has been, I put, he puts up with a lot. I, I tease this poor guy so much. To, I, I send him showgirls gift like shit all the time. Constantly. I Constantly. don't know why this is you, I don't know why this is the hill you're going to die on. I I mean I w uh, what the fuck is this? I'm getting messages oh. from Zoom in the middle of my anyway. I know yeah, yeah, you always talk about um you talk about showgirls all the time. Because it's <laughs> he amazing. He does that to you too? Yeah. It's He's amazing. like you haven't seen showgirls? And I'm like I no. think you like that movie more than anyone involved with it. I fucking <laughs> love that movie. It's amazing. I'm, Dude, I'm aware. You, look, look, you, you, okay, I'm going to do theater for you right now on this podcast. I'm going oh to, boy. because we're not going to show a scene because we can't do that copyright issues. But like the opening scene, okay, the opening scene of Showgirls I is mean, her. If, if you do it too well, we can still get tagged because they'll think it's the real thing. I think it's you're right. <laughs> well, I'll, is that I'll, Elizabeth Berkeley? Yeah. I do. I mean, I do look. You know, I <laughs> got the hair. Uh, but so, so it opens with this girl hitchhiking. She hitchhikes, gets gets her way to Vegas, and she gets gets in this car with this guy. And he's kind of every guy is a pig in this movie. Like every single guy is a, just the absolute fucking pig. And like the guy's like, just like Whoa. life. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> Am I right? And so the guy yep. thinks like makes some life joke to her he makes some kind of comment and elizabeth berkeley does one of these it's amazing let's watch this she's like yeah. 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 it's like it, i mean it, her performance is whoa i mean no person acts like this person i've never now now my hair is a mess hold on no person has it, it ever, was worth it for the performance that, yeah. it was Amazing! It was like it's, I was gonna say I give you a standing ovation, but I'm like trapped in all this. J J Jimmy, this is have. for you. That <laughs> was beautiful. You. Thank you so much. I, I I'd like to thank the Academy. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank mm -hmm. um, you know I I I'd like to thank the fact that we're none of us are wearing pants. I'd like to, you know, on the count of three, let's all stand up. One, two. Three. <laughs> no, that's that's we're gonna have to have the director's cut of that. The yeah, it'll be in the the uh, deleted scenes. I was telling. The... That's the uh, that's the Patreon cut. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I was telling Jimmy the other day that he brings it up so much that I'm now getting targeted ads for show <laughs> shit. Like I got an ad. The the other day on my Instagram for a showgirls like coloring book. I'm like, why is this? And oh, so for bad. the record, I, ha I have two Instagram accounts. One is my personal one. And one is this like uh, graveyard gothic horror art thing I do. And the targeted ad showed up on that. So there's no way I could should have gotten a showgirls targeted ad. I'm like, yeah, Jimmy, man. <laughs> it is look, look, let's let's be honest here. Showgirls is one of the best films ever made. Period. They should pay you. They should pay me. It, they, should they, they talk about eating doggy chow, because everyone loves doggy chow, right? Right, Justin? You eat doggy chow, right? When I was a kid, I actually did though. See? <laughs> I you would love it. Dude, that's what we should do. That is what we should do for this show. Do a showgirls audio Eat. commentary. Dude, you would love that so much. I, there we I, go. You know, I've got, I'm hard right now thinking about it. I'm just like, wow. It. That's amazing. Oh, you my God. You call it the, the, the something, something stony, stony with show, Showgirls Spectacular. Showgirls, yeah. God damn <laughs> oh, it. my God. I like bad movies, though. Like, I, I, I really genuinely like bad movies. Like, oh, same. Yeah. I mean, what, yeah. yeah, it's like there's All something right. about just Weird. watching a silly movie. We know Jimmy's. Justin, what is your favorite bad movie? Mm. My favorite bad movie. Oh my god. I it's <laughs> never actually taken the time to think about it. There's 
um, one of them that I always think of is Kung Pao. Did you guys ever watch? Oh that? my god! Yeah. 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 Oh my Love god! That movie. It's, it's so, so spectacularly fun. bad, but in a fun <laughs> way. It's, yes. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, that's a good one. I don't know if that's the one, but it's probably like top three. Rightfully so. Yeah. Ryan, what's yours? <laughs> He's 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 frozen in time. He's yeah. frozen. We're waiting. Well, we we also talk a lot about Freddy Got Fingered too. So you know, I mean, that's a that, yeah. But I mean, that's different though because that's not a bad movie. That's one of the greatest movies ever made. So <laughs> you can't, it's not fair to put that in that list. Good point. Good point. Spectrum man. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, only the finest. Thank you, Los Angeles. I know, right? Yeah. Fucking monopolies. Jesus, it's either Spectrum or AT and T, and they both kind of suck. So, but anyway, to a- to answer your previous question, my favorite bad movie is the Matthew Broderick masterpiece, Godzilla. <laughs> wow! Yeah, yeah it is awful. One. It's so bad. Yeah, it is. But when so- you said Matthew Broderick, I thought, I thought you were going to go for Inspector Gadget. Oh, that was really bad. I do- <laughs> I haven't seen that since I was a kid. Right. And, um, I found I, I found his head once. Um, backstory on that. I used to work in a, an effects studio or storage, and in a box they have Matthew Broderick's Inspector Gadget head. <laughs> so I just opened a box like like the end of Seven, but instead of Gwen Paltrow, <laughs> just dead eyes staring up at me with a little Inspector Gadget hat with like. <laughs> it's uh. like God. It was unexpected oh. and terrifying. That's yeah. kind of disturbing. That is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah little, at the end bad. of it, I think it was like in that movie, there was like the bad Inspector Gadget where it was him with like the big fake teeth. That was always really creepy. Yeah. Is it, is it okay that I've never seen his Inspector Gadget? I don't think I've ever. I think I maybe tried and I just didn't care. Yeah, of course you know, it's okay. I, I like it when i was a kid but that's not exactly a show of quality i liked wild no. wild west when i was a kid and i know oh it's my god rash. dude when i was a kid wild wild west was my fucking shit yeah. I, it was to the point where i that little music video at the end because you know how like that was back when will smith had a music video and a song at the end of all his movies oh, I, I missed that and um um i would i like learned the dance and the song and like I would do it. Yeah, my mom has pictures of me. I bought like a cowboy hat and glasses and shit. And I, I was like, I was way into Wild Wild West. So, hey, it, in fairness to you, that soundtrack still slaps. It does. It absolutely yeah. does. And honestly, it's one of those movies that I would probably watch now just because it's fun. It you is. Know? It's, yeah. you, can, you can love a bad movie. I, I yeah. wish Will Smith would still... I wish he would still do that, but like for his like really serious movies, like woo concussion, ha 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 ha, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, I wish he would do music that. for all his. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Justin, will you uh, recreate that dance today, or can we do uh, that another I don't time? At all. Well, maybe you need to watch the film because I, I, I clearly you're not getting away with doing this podcast and not doing that dance. Okay. Just. just Give us one wiki wiki wow wow. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we can get Will Smith on there on here, maybe. I know, right? Yeah. Be cool. He can just do it. <laughs> he's not doing anything. No, he's not. He's, no one's doing anything. God damn it. We're all just... Kevin Klein, at least. Kevin Klein. I he's love probably Kevin available. Klein. Probably. <laughs> love Kevin Klein. Love I, I you know I've been into like I've been kind of like revisiting like actors I grew up watching, like Ed Harris and shit. Ed Harris is the mm. piece of shit, man. Mm. That guy is awesome. God, like, do you watch Westworld? He's so good on that. I hear that. Yeah, I hear you. I don't watch TV. You know that. It's not TV. It's HBO, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> I hey, just got HBO Max, they'll... so I'll be able to catch up soon. Oh, Westworld! Is... Trust me, it's so good. Yeah, I saw in the what is it the the second season? Aaron Paul is the star. I like Aaron mm-hmm. Paul a lot. Aaron Paul's season awesome. three. Oh, three. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, it's it's a hell of a kid. But Ed Harris on Westworld is he's such a delicious bad guy. Is wait is he uh does he work with Cliff? Uh, so uh, Justin, our, my friends on the show, Cliff and Collins Jr., who Ryan uh, and we've interviewed, 
Is it doesn't oh, he work buddy. with Ed Harris on the show? I was gonna say I don't want to spoil anything, but they have like a whole arc together. Season. No, I know, I, I know. I'll, I'll never watch it. I don't want. But he I don't might, like but, but Justin might. I so might, I'm not gonna yeah. spoil anything. Justin might. Yes, Justin might. To be fair, yeah, no. I have a, I have a lot a, of catching up to do on everything because I mainly mm, just stick mm. to YouTube. So I'm like, there's all this shit that I want to watch, but I'm like, eh, I'll just watch more podcasts or gaming shit or something. That's totally fair. Yeah. 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 No, uh, it's also, I love uh, the one show I watch. I, I did watch it, uh, Raised by Wolves. I'm in love oh, with that show. I've heard that. That's really. Yeah. I wanted cool. to see Fuck. That. Fucking beautiful. It's one of those where. Uh, look, I, it's it's like pulling teeth for me to watch TV. I don't like watching TV. I just don't like having to sit through twelve hours with one show. I just don't like to do it. Mm -hmm. But like, I if I have a junket, I you know I'll, I'll watch whatever they send me. And then I, so they sent me Raised by Wolves, and it, I'm a huge fan of like Alien, Aliens, uh, Prometheus. Even I loved Prometheus. I thought it had a lot of beauty. This is like nothing you've seen on TV. It's so fucking gorgeous and it's stunning and it has the DNA of like Prometheus. Like visually, it's beautiful. It's it's every shot's gorgeous, but it it's not like it's not like Prometheus. It's very different, but it's I really recommend it. A really it's a great show. It's a really beautiful show and uh, I'm I'm excited to finish it. I haven't finished it yet. So, it takes I me didn't forever. Know as it was sci-fi. Hmm? Yeah. I oh gosh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, weird, and it's like I mean, remember how gorgeous Prometheus is? Like, forget about the script. Let's not talk about the script. The, the I actual try, look. I yeah. Hey, it's not that bad. But like, as beautiful as that is, that's what Raised by Wolves looks like on a weekly basis. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I don't know how they come up. I don't know how they do it. It's beautiful. And, it, and the, the two leads, I, I guess they're the leads. Um, they're stunning. It's like really, a really interesting. It's the, the creator called it like Little House on the Prairie in space. And it kind of is, but it's, oh. it's kind of amazing. You're like, oh, that's real. It doesn't really sell it well unless you're a huge fan of Little House on the Prairie. And I mean, who's, who, who's that's not? It. Really, you I know? mean, true, but it's it's a bit of a dated analogy. I think if you're trying to sell a, a new show to, you know, reliable consumers, which is generally young <laughs> people, you're not gonna go be like, "Hey, you remember Little House on the Prairie?" It's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. It, although, who did you know? I had a crush on Mary Mary Ingalls, Melissa Sue Anderson. I've never seen that. She was. Did you see the movie Happy Birthday to Me? A long, long time ago. Just, just you've never seen. Oh, dude. I, okay, so Happy Birthday to Me is. Uh, it was the. Uh, it was directed by the same guy who directed something. I forgot what it was. I'm gonna look it up later. I'm. My mind isn't there. Um, but it's. It's a really smart slasher. Really smart, and it's. It was the the kills are really gruesome. Like. Uh, you know, they both they they put published it like they were like promoted it. Sorry, they promoted it as oh six kills. Like one guy gets shish kebab. Like she, she there's a shish kebab just scrubbed down his throat. There's another guy get, gets just face torn off by a motorcycle. Uh, it, it's a really fantastic film, but it's also really actually interesting and actually really well done and really good, good acting. It's it's a good show, good great movie. I highly recommend it. I'm I'll watch that one right, right after Showgirls. R oh, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> no. no, Happy Birthday to Me is a good movie. It is a, oh, okay. a legitimately a good film. It is because you actually give it, kind of give a shit about the characters, and you're like, oh, okay, this is, and there's a couple of red herrings in there that you're like, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see, you'll never guess who huh. the killer is. You'll no. never guess who the killer is. So, who, who's the director? You're looking it up. Look up, look up the director, right? Do it. Do it. Do it. Did he freeze again? He's a little frozen for now. God damn it. Frozen. I love Frozen. <laughs> Do you? I, I've never watched it. What? I've never. Dude, that's your response to every movie that I've never seen. What? I, I, I don't watch. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen. But, Am I um, Frozen? Oh, there, you, there you're you are. Now. You're good now. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah, Let I've never it watched go. Frozen. It's just like, I, like after a certain point, I'm like, 
I'm done watching Disney. You know, like not done watching Disney. I'm done watching new Disney. Mm-hmm. I'll watch the shit that I watched when I was a kid, but I don't really have any interest. Or if it's like a new Toy Story or something, like a sequel to something that I, from mm-hmm. childhood. But I'm not. No, I don't. I'm not like I'm gonna go watch Frozen. It's you it know was it's, charming. It is really good. It's uh, they're good movies. They actually, I liked Frozen two. Maybe even more because it kind of gets weirdly cerebral. You're like, oh shit, yeah. this is kind of deep. They're going weird. Yeah, I finally saw that the other night. It was. Uh, it was it's really cool. good, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, let it go, let it go. I just remember, I like, the very it, okay. Frozen was the first movie I ever saw in Los Angeles after I moved here. Really? And I remember I saw it at the the, the Disney Theater, and like the curtains open and they have ice sculptors on stage making stuff before the movie. I'm like, wow, LA really gets into its movies. So that yeah. like set a whole precedent that LA was not able to cash in on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was a, there, it's weird because I ended up My, saying it a lot. Know, I love it. I, I enjoyed it. Good. Justin, but, you know, I, I think that's what? up there. There's like the spectrum of my LA movie going experience. There's like the Disney theater with all their razzle dazzle. And then the p- people having sex during atomic blonde two rows behind me at the Van Nuys theater. Wow. Well, I mean, the first <laughs> part are, should have been. Those are the, that's Nuys, the scale. But... That's the scale. Wow. That like full on sex. Full on sex. In the theater. Mm-hmm. No. Yes. Atomic blonde. I mean, it's a hot movie, but yeah. you know, I mean, Jeez. for sure, but, like, I, like, turned around, and they were, like, on top of it, I'm, like, y'all missed a good And then movie. you started stroking your dick, and you're, like, that's fucking hot. Keep going. He did. He did. He, I mean, he always does it every every movie he goes to, Hey, though. it's like, Van Nuys. Anything goes. <laughs> what can I say? I love Charlize Theron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She, mm-hmm. Dude, I love that movie. I, she's so... She, she, she does tough really well. She's, like, one of the... I think she's one of the best action stars oh, right she's now. Yeah. yeah. You know who I think, another, like, female action stars that mm. I love? Soil Moontry and Punky Brewster. And uh, Emilia Jovovich. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. And the God, problem yeah. is, is that a, a huge bulk of her career was spent in those garbage-ass Resident Evil movies. I love those movies. Which are such I a fucking atrocity. I, I, I mean, as a fan them. of the games, <laughs> it's, what, what is this? So, yeah. but no, I mean, it, she plays that character so well that it's, I, I feel like it's such a waste to have been in those movies. But, you know, you see things I like, like a... you know, I mean, she's also Lilu, you know, so right. it, it's, that quality is definitely there. I just feel like it, it was, it could have been used in better places. I mean, and her husband directs the, you know, the Resident Evil movies. How are you going to say no to that? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's. I, I didn't hate concept. him, man. I, I'm not a gamer. So I feel like I was just like, my expectations were low when I, I think, went well, in. Here's the thing. there yeah. It's another one of those, that series is kind of one of those like dumb, enjoyable kinds of movies. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And. I think that if you yeah. don't really know anything about the games, then it'd be even more enjoyable. But yeah. for me, I'm like, this is this isn't even close. Yeah, yeah he he. Justin's a huge gamer. He actually has a, a show he does on Twitch. It's, oh yeah, it's actually yeah, pretty stream. impressive. Yeah, oh, you right stream. on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's cool. pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, I just figured, you know, once quarantine hit and I had all the time in the world, I was like, I might as well, you know do this as like a side venture and see where it goes and you know I'm, i still have very low views and everything but i'm i can tell because they send you the stats of your stream uh, mm. a- after every stream and there's definitely noticeable momentum in like my view count and and followers and stuff and it's a lot Great, of fun man. it's right i mean you know i i came out here for acting and uh since that's kind of dried up at the moment um I just figured it was another way to kind of perform, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. Oh, speaking of, uh, we can cut this out of the show. We don't need to keep it in. But, Ryan, this is the guy that I want to make that short with that I was telling you about. Remember the 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 the, the, the one about social media and the Karen uh, thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, this is a guy. And uh, I, I think 
Oh, I think the three of us are going to make this happen. Yeah. <laughs> you're the guy. Okay. The yeah, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right, the guy. Yeah. He was telling With me his... about that. Yeah, no, it sounds like a cool idea. And, yeah. And timely. So Very timely. You're yeah. going to help us. You're going to help me, right? Yeah, dude. Okay, cool. And oh, yeah. and can we can we just I know we've been talking about movies and stuff, but can we just talk about like every I feel like every week we're talking about his shirt. And I really need to talk about this this particular okay. shirt. Yeah, this is gorgeous. The yeah, so it's it's a, it's a pink shirt, like a light pink, and mm -hmm. it's uh it says death metal and it has a little <laughs> rainbow. Um yeah, it's it's uh, it. it's a hot topic shirt. It's kind of a classic hot topic shirt, um, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And as someone who also does legitimately like death metal, it, yes, it makes it even better. So nice. He he owns a, a series of pink shirts. He's really into pink, which we've just, we've already figured out because of the skin tone it, it i realized it good. on the show on the show because I, like, I can see i'm looking at myself and i'm like yeah. oh it's because it matches so because <laughs> not a lot of guys can pull off pink i mean let's be real most i couldn't pull off i'd look i'd look weird i'd look like a, I, I don't know what i would look like right can't pull it off. you couldn't pull it off no but this ju the justin butts my co-host Wow, he he can pull off pink, and I'm good. I, good for you. Yeah, you, I'm sir. I'm leaning real hard into it uh, as of late, especially because uh, I, I was telling Jimmy uh, earlier. Lately, I've I've reached a a retail therapy phase mm. of of <laughs> this. I feel that I had a little dose of it in the beginning, and then financially, I it got a little scary for a little bit. Uh -huh. And uh, and now with like the unemployment benefits and and everything and um, and my hours at at work going up a little bit more, I, uh -huh. I'm in a much more comfortable position, and uh, especially with these extra unemployment benefits, it makes it to where I make excessively enough to where I can spend a little more excessively. Uh -huh. So yeah, I, big yeah. Re retail therapy. I've spent a lot of money over yeah. the past couple days but it's money that i know i'm gonna get back in the next fucking unemployment thing i've made yeah. more money being halfway unemployed than working two jobs beforehand it's unbelievable i know it's insane and, like, and I, I got I, a i got a call from my other job yesterday because they're getting ready to come back because it's a steakhouse mm. and I'm, i've been dreading that phone call even though i haven't <laughs> had to work there in like seven months i've been dreading it because i'm like i don't want to have to go back to work in two jobs just mm -hmm. to make less money now that's what i'm doing right now you know and that just says a lot about how fucked up our system is yeah that but like you know yeah i i've started going back to work and i'm like i, I miss making more for for staying home and avoiding covid yeah exactly yeah and it's, i just figure yeah, what a if this is going to be the end of an era, then I might as well take advantage of it and spend this extra money while I'm getting it. Oh, for sure. I've, so. I, mm -hmm. I hear you. Like what, what pink is to you, I guess black shirts are to me. Like I've been bought buying all kinds of spooky bullshit. Okay. Like, okay. All black t-shirts. And I'm like, do I need this, you know, uh, skeleton replica? I don't, but I got one on the way. Yeah. So you know, I hear you. I've been I've been just buying spooky shit left and right. Yeah. yeah. So we all have our ways through this. Yours is pink shirts. Mine is mm -hmm. spooky bullshit. Pink shirts, and, and uh, I I found that they have like attachable bidets. <laughs> what? It's called a I think it's a Hello Tushy. I think is the website. <laughs> so you plug it into like the the okay. water supply, like in the tank, and it's like and there's like little. It, it's just like a little thing. Uh, yeah, it goes in the bottom of the bowl, and then you have a little control panel on the side with like uh, pressure knobs, and then I think like a temperature control, and so it's like a an and it's only like a hundred and something dollars. Hmm. And it's an attachable wow. bidet that you can install yourself. Why not? Yeah. Oh my god! Now I want that. That's yeah. cool. Look, you gotta, yeah, you got to take care of yourself. Well, there, there's a hotel in I, I never remember which one. Uh, but it's one I've done junkets at, and they—it was the first time I really had the experience with a bidet. 
and I was like, this is really cool. This yeah. is like, it's like actually pretty weird. It's kind of, I like it. I like it's it. nice. And it's, <laughs> you're getting legitimately clean. I mean, if you had, yeah. if you had shit on your arm, you wouldn't just take like a paper towel and wipe it. Like you're going to wash it. So well, no, I, I, I do that. I, I, I like to keep like specimens. Oh yeah. yeah. We, we like, here's some him extra DNA. Sh- shit arms, Jimmy. Shit, shit arms, arms, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's what yeah. they used to call him. That's his. That's his cowboy name. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Good old exactly. shit arms, Jimmy, rolling into town. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've only tried them once, and I like audibly yelled because I didn't know I was at the, I was at the Hong Kong airport, and I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> And I, I hit what I thought was flush, and I just, like, in a room full of other people, I just went, ah! <laughs> so that's the only time I've tried one. Wow. Wow. That, uh, but uh, unfortunately, Ryan realized he was actually sitting on a person that wasn't a toilet. He totally pooped on somebody. It was really embarrassing. Yeah. And they were spitting yeah. at him. And then they yeah. spit, yeah, they spit water it's, in his ass as a defense. It's pre-COVID. I had to make my money somehow, you know? That's yeah. true. That's true. Save it for fans only, man. Yeah, yeah, and and you know, I, I mean, the good thing is, is that people are going to be willingly ignoring this entire year. So mm-hmm. you kind of do whatever you want. That's true. This it's 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 the gas leak year of community. It's they just anarchy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, speaking of clean, and I've been wanting to talk about this for a while because I think it's very <laughs> important. Um, I have a hat, and I was going to wear it, but because of the rim, it like it made my face really dark. But look at this. This is Dr. Squatch. And mm-hmm. and so this is this. So I am not the kind of guy to like go, oh, I'm going to buy fucking soap online. That's stupid. I would never do that. Go to Vons. You get a, you know, fucking five pack of soap for three bucks. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I became quite enamored with the commercials. If you watch YouTube... There's a blonde dude that's like, do you want to clean your balls or whatever? And just going on about how, how you, do you use this soap? It's shit. And I, I mean, these are funny commercials And I was like, well, fuck, I'm going to buy that soap. So I like, fuck it. I'm going to literally never done this before. I bought Dr. Squatch soap and I got to tell you, it's dude, Justin, I, 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 I sent you a coupon fucking it's the best soap ever. It is literally the best soap that's ever existed on the planet. I still need to redeem that coupon. Mm. You do. You do. Yeah. Right. I should send you one. I, I like I have. Okay. Right now I'm on grapefruit mm-hmm. and like, I swear to God, this shower just smells like just fresh grapefruit, just filling the room. And it's like, Oh my God, it's the greatest thing ever. But you know, sh- Sure, a guy at the internet can yell at you and ask if you want to wash your balls, but when I do it, I'm not allowed back at Pit Fire Pizza. <laughs> you know, I, I, that wasn't really fair. I mean, I, I guess I should have let you wash my balls. It's I'm bullshit, sorry. Yeah. Next time. Next Double time. Standards. Wash my balls. Okay, cool, right. cool, 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 cool. Justin and I, has. And, he, and he look, enjoys I, it. I think, uh, I think earlier you were saying that uh, the Dr. Squatch soap makes you come. Mm hmm. <laughs> you, you mentioned that, yeah. I did mention that, yeah. It, it is the uh, well. Okay, here. Let me explain this because I not oh, only do I have do. This, yeah, uh, <laughs> this requires <laughs> explicit explanation. So, so you 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 have the shampoo too. The shampoo is super expensive. It ain't cheap, but it lasts forever. And you like when you use it, your hair is just. You would know, um, Ryan, because you're so short and you're getting hair, so you'd love it. But so I have I have my shampoo. I use my shampoo. Put on the conditioner. Leave that in. You don't want to wash that out yet. Then you get all soapy, and you just get so soapy, and you're feeling it. And you're like, huh, wow, yeah. So it feels really good, and it just you just you have that smell. It's really sexy. It's hot. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, it's the best. I mean, it turns shower showers into like, wow, like beauty heaven. And you can come. That's that's, yeah. Yeah, that's quite the endorsement. Yeah, it's, it's the greatest the, soap ever. If there's anybody should... from uh, Doctor Squatch watching, we would uh, 
love love for you to be a sponsor. Well, look, they, mm-hmm. yeah, we they should be the sponsors. We could have the the guy that's in the commercial. There's two guys that are in the commercial, and they're fucking hell. They gotta be. I think they're comedians. I think they're actually comedians. But like, it it, it, it he talks about Washington. The, the end of the commercial is hilarious because it's just the two guys, and they're like, "Why haven't you clicked the number? Why haven't you clicked it? Why? It's your balls, man." It's your balls, and that that's the funniest thing ever. That's why you you yeah, it makes you come better. I mean, honestly, let's just mm-hmm. be real. Yeah. yeah, you should write a review for them. I should. I should do a, a Yelp <laughs> like that yeah. verbatim. Yeah, obviously, I, I think people would really react to that. Justin did. Yeah, I mean, I I also think that if you suggest that they change their slogan to Doctor Squatch, it makes you come. come. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think they might honestly, use that. That would be genuinely brilliant marketing, because tell me that everyone wouldn't <laughs> check that out, because that's an that's a crazy thing to say about your product. That's mm-hmm. true. That's yeah. just like um, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow had that um, <laughs> that candle that was supposed to smell like her vagina. It sold out, because it's such a crazy thing. Or it's like, mm. okay, fine, I'll see if this smells like a vagina. I guess. I think people like the weird, like as much as yeah. we're, we're, we're such a, like, let's, let me get a little deep here. We're kind of a prudish get deep. society. Yeah. I'm going to get, get deep balls deep. Do it. And get balls deep. Down. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Just add, add some like bongos in the background here. I don't have bongos. I'll use my penis. Um, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> what? Well, dung, 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 I could use as a drum. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, I don't, what the fuck was I talking Here we go. You were not kidding when you said that the edibles hit you. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it, it's, it's, a, it, dude, it's, you're, this is nothing. This is nothing. Just wait. It's Just true. Wait. I, I, I've seen Jimmy in some, some sky <sighs> high places. So we'll see, right. No, this is new stuff. And it's like, it's, 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 it, it is, yeah, it's even more, it's like beauty. It's like beauty, man. I'm like, I'm already getting, I'm like, I got my foot up. I got my, I'm like all fucking, I'm all, I'm all chill right now. I'm all fucking relaxed. I feel amazing. Do, right does now. this also have the effect of Dr. Squatch? I No, not to not, no, it, it doesn't really. It just kind of like, it can, because like all your, your senses are like just, like like intense and like you can like all if people are walking in our courtyard or like outside i can hear it, it, i feel like they're yelling it's so loud justin do you get that do you get like is everything yeah. loud for you um i i guess sometimes i think i don't even know if it's necessarily that things get louder i think you become more absent-minded so you lose track of your surroundings and then you hear something so it's it's like you're not expecting it, so it's no. very, it's much more alarming. So you're like, wait, what the fuck is that? But oh. I, I definitely understand that. Yeah, it it does heighten your senses in many ways. Mm. Yeah, it, that's what it does. And so yeah, so like technically, yeah, everything is a, a, accentuated. So whether it's mm-hmm. if you're having sex or if you're uh, if you're um, uh, watching this a movie or if you're uh, just um, and try. It would be great, like sound a massage. Oh my god, that would be amazing. I bet it would be. Right? Am I wrong on this? Picture? Probably not. I don't Picture? think. I don't think you're wrong. I just massages for me are, are tricky because I'm very ticklish. Nah. <laughs> so it's oh. like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste somebody's time like that. That would be. I, I. I. think now. Now I really want to see you get a massage while you're stoned because that would be really funny to me. That would be hilarious. We that could. Be, we could make it a show. We could do it pathetic. on the show. I, I oh think Jimmy. God. I think Jimmy's offering to give you a massage. Are Are you comfortable with this? No, I'm bad at giving a <laughs> massage. No, you don't want me to do it because I'm like I. I'm very. I'm not. I don't have the hands for it. So I would just film it for the show. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's what I wanted. To do. That's somehow worse. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like I like to watch. <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. I just want to film. 
<laughs> that takes Karen's to a whole new level. <laughs> a whole new level. You're doing it wrong. Really tickle and Jeez, fall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So this is yeah. This is um yeah. I so basically what we're we're saying here is Doctor Squatch makes you come and um don't get a massage with Justin if if he's high because then he'll be giggling and it will be distracting. I'll That's be very weird. squirmy. Squirmy. Yeah. 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 I I'm not ticklish. Are you ticklish, Ryan? Or well, yeah, you are a little bit. I'm only ticklish in one particular place yeah i know it's i have like a self-destruct button that unfortunately my my current girlfriend has discovered and is abusing that power <laughs> oh. so if, I, if i'm not waking up in the morning oh. it's over i love liza gosh i love her so much can i say her name on here are you, are you cool with yeah that? yeah go for oh, it oh she's 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 rad man yeah, you, she's cool. you gotta you guys gotta meet like in person, that's so weird to do. Isn't that weird? But we're like fucking. I thought you meant me. Like you should meet her. I'm like I, yeah. No, I'm, I'm talking about as you. Soon she gets in the mail from Russia. <laughs> Ukraine, thank you. Yeah. Ukraine, I don't. Baby. I don't have that Russia money right now. No, that's like that should spent it all on spooky T-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I've been buying? Mm. I've been okay. So I've been like um in my. We, which we we should do a show on vinyl. Fucking, I've been obsessed with vinyl. I love vinyl, mm -hmm. and so it's uh, the five year anniversary of Brandy Carlisle's um, Fire Watcher's daughter, and it's so they've re released it on vinyl, and it's a new beautiful press. So I pre ordered that. I ordered the Pearl Jam Unplugged. The one of the first things that got them attention, they're mm -hmm. releasing that fucker on vinyl. And that's wow. going to sound, oh my God, I can't fucking, that'll make me come. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, and then uh, I bought, I, I got, I actually have, I got 19, I got the soundtrack to 1917 for Ooh. Record Store Day. Nice. Dude, it's, I swear to God, like, you know, when you, like, you get a vinyl and you, you, you feel that fucking, that case and it, it feels kind of chintzy and you feel like gosh I, yeah this like i it, this is made of i don't know what they made this this 1917 out of it is gorgeous gorgeous it's like fucking it feels like you're opening a book it's so beautiful uh, you open i would it expect up. nothing less their attention to detail in that movie oh, you know. god it's gorgeous and then and the soundtrack so on fucking vinyl oh and, yeah and then i got the uh, uh autographed copy thank you very much uh, by Alan Howarth of the Halloween sa 3 soundtrack, which oh. is pretty rad. Yeah, it's really rad. Orange, <laughs> it's a, a jack-o'-lantern colored... Oh, dude, even just yeah. by saying that, now I have that stupid three more days till Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Yeah. Hall have you seen, Justin, have you seen Halloween 3? I don't know if I've seen 3. Oh, uh, so speaking no! of... There Speaking you of go. like excellent bad movies, that is yeah. an excellent bad movie. I, you know what? Okay. I don't even think it's a bad movie. I think it's just it's not in the Halloween. It, so okay, which one me, was wait? Which one was uh, season of the witch? That Halloween one. had nothing. Yeah, that's one. That's Halloween yeah. three. Oh, okay, yeah. so, okay, it's so fun. Okay, yeah, because I know I I don't think I've ever watched it because that's the one that's like, why did they make one that doesn't even have Michael in it? Well, once because, you get past that, though, like, uh, for the longest time, I had the biggest aversion to that film, because I, I was such a huge fan of the Halloween movies growing up. Yeah. Mm. And, like, I always thought, like, ah, this one's bullshit. But, like, as of recent years, and I think this is happening with a lot of people, it's su it's suddenly getting a lot of love as, like, you know what? This movie's a lot of fun. Just mm -hmm. ignore it's really the fact. clever. Ignore it. Like, just pretend it's called Season of the Witch instead of Halloween 3, and then you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, it's great. It's it's actually a really fun movie. It just has nothing to do with Michael Myers. And that was the intention. John Carpenter, when he did Halloween, he didn't want to do a, a a sequel to a serial killer movie. He wanted to make a movie every year that had some kind of Halloween esque thing. He wanted to make it basically a series of anth uh, anthologies. Technically, I guess. Yeah. I guess yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah. And and fans were like, when Halloween three came out, they were like. What the fuck was that? And but if you watch it without knowing what it is, 
dude, it's there's some really yeah. creepy, creative shit in this this movie. It's, it's a lot of fun. Common. It's it's got it's suddenly getting a lot of love in the horror community too, and yeah. I'm glad for that. Yeah, it's it's very bleak though. The ending is bleak as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, shit. But uh, it, it's fun. You can you can just smell the 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 stale Budweiser and cigarettes coming off Tom Atkins in that movie. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. it's fun. It's a fun movie. We should get Tom Atkins. I know that'd be amazing. <laughs> Wait him up. Ask him. We should. Yeah, do it. Do it. You 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 do it. We need to talk about that. Um, so yeah, so that's that's. Uh, I, I can't believe. Yeah, did you need to see Halloween three? This yeah. this this year, watch it's it. It's pretty Let's, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I I honestly I still haven't seen the uh, most recent remake. Oh, you should see that too. It's really yeah. good. I, really I, like I was that. really it's excited really about good. that one. I just never got around to it. It's so good. So it's, it, so yeah. The, there there we are. We are at Halloween, and Halloween is coming up, and. We don't. What are we gonna do for Halloween this year? What are What are you guys gonna do? Do you think about it? I mean, I know what I'm mm-hmm. thinking, but like, what are you guys gonna do? What What can we give advice to people in the middle of COVID? What can you fucking do? Because you can't really take. The, I I don't even think people will be trick or treating, right? Well, you can. I They'd, think. I mean, you could. I, I think that. I mean, I understand. Like the idea of it is immediately gonna get shut down because. Oh yeah. It's all about kids, but realistically, it's it's no different, and in a lot of ways, kind of better than things that we're already doing. Like, if you're just trick or treating in a neighborhood, you can be more socially distanced and safe than you would when you go to the fucking grocery store. Right. So, really, why not? Why why take away yet another thing to these poor fucking kids who have to grow up in the worst bullshit ever? I know. And, oh my god, um, poor kids. So. But uh, no, I, I just think that I think that part is a little strange. Yeah, I, and I think there there are ways around it too, because like I'm seeing a lot of, you know, on all these various Halloween groups I'm a part of online, like I'm seeing so many different creative Weirdo. solutions to this too. Is like people building like zip lines from their house to the kids on the sidewalk, or they can just like send candy down at them, or like pipes that go down their railings, like you know they. You trick or treat can still exist, but people should pro- should and probably will get creative with it this year. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a way, even just like just tossing some candy, like you're, you know, or put put them in a t-shirt gun. That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> but there, you know, just there's ways around it. Snickers bars <laughs> through kids' heads. Well, I just wonder. Yeah. I, I wonder how many parents are will want to do it. I, I take. Uh, there's so, a lot going on in the editing room. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> one of the uh, what I think what I'm going to do is take the family because we've never done this. You and I have, Brian. You and I haven't, Justin, which would be fun. Uh, we go. We're going to take them to the original Halloween house over in Pasadena. Oh yeah, absolutely. Out, you know, and it, it's really cool. Okay, so J- Justin, it's like the in the in the movie, of course, in the original film, the original house. Is there like you can just go? It's like a some kind of accounting firm. Is that right? What what is it? Well, it's it was uh, a dentist's office. That's what it but was. But yeah. I was actually I was just there on Sunday for uh, they had a concert behind the house to kick off Halloween where they had three different they had a jazz quartet playing the Halloween soundtrack in all Michael Myers costumes. Anyway, but the, now That's it's amazing. for sale. So now now it's totally empty. Oh my god, that's gonna be so cool then! It'll so be like it's, it's even creepier now. Oh, I'm so excited, dude! No, Justin, you gotta go because it's like it feels like you're go- and it, like me and Greg, my our our mutual friend Ryan. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went there one year, and he got he dressed up in the whole Michael Myers, and it, like people are coming out like to see the house, and Greg would pop out with a knife. And people were literally screaming, <laughs> running away. And then, of course, they'd come back and take pictures with him because I he looks. It. Oh my god, it was so fucking cool. And I'm like, it's cool to me just because I love Halloween is one of my probably top three favorite films. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's just a film that 
it, it made me love movies. It made me love Jamie Lee Curtis. It made me love everything about that that feeling of being afraid and but knowing you're safe and i i i loved I, halloween taught me how to live and uh so for to be able to go to that house and just see it not you know don't be an asshole about it not don't fucking do something stupid and throw shit or you know sure. be respectful like it's so cool. I love that it's so you dude, you really need to go. It's really neat. It's really cool. And it's it's a block away from two of the other locations too. The hedge and uh Jamie Lee Curtis's house are, are right there as well. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, no, it's it's one of my like I, like I said I was there Sunday just for that kickoff cuz like yeah, I have to work st swinging by there into my Halloween rotation several times every year. Yeah. And there's this really cool uh, horror art gallery directly behind the house called Sugar Mint Gallery, which I would also very much recommend. We went there Sunday, and they're all horror movie arts and like behind the scenes photos, and it's it's cool. It's very cool. Wait, did you say behind the scenes photos? <laughs> <laughs> I just drank a glass of Everclear. What do you want from me? <laughs> oh no! No, I I um no, that would be really cool to see that one because uh. Even just being like from Illinois, you know where this fictional oh, yeah. field oh, shit. town is. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, So that made it very chilling as a kid, mm. um, because it's like that town is like, oh, that looks like a town that would be nearby, and um, also uh, right at the top of Illinois mm -hmm. is Crystal Lake. God, yeah, oh, you're right. Yeah, nice. Oh my god! And like there was an Elm Street in my hometown, so I was like, <laughs> all these movies. I'm like, this is this is gonna happen. Perfect. Oh yeah. my god! Wow. So, are Are you much of a horror movie guy? I'm not much of a horror movie no, guy. No, I love I love I love Halloween. I love Michael Myers. I love mm. all of that shit. I think I'm more drawn to slashers, if anything else. But I'm typically I don't like horror. For a couple reasons, I, I think that a lot of them follow the exact same tropes, especially mm -hmm. with like the paranormal type of stuff. It's like it's all the same movie over and over again. It's sure. Safe. And also because I am a raging pussy when it comes to jump scares, so <laughs> it's it's it. I'm too anxious watching them because I'm like I'm like super tense. I'm like when I got to be ready for it. I got to be That's ready fair. for it. So, <laughs> so yeah, I I don't really really get into it too much that's fair it's not See, for I, everybody i told him definitely once COVID is over when we, we're gonna do a live show where we watch a horror movie together because i want to see this i i i, I think i live for making people you know I, i'm just curious to see what makes people scared that mm -hmm. fascinates me so i'm kind of curious i love watching people in horror movies mm. watching horror movies because to me it's like I don't get scared. I've been I've been watching these since I was a child, but watching other people do it is fascinating to oh, me. Yeah. I, I love that. I love that feeling. I oh, like for sure. Yeah, I like scaring people. That's that's why I want to make it my bread and butter. How do you make like like actual bread and butter or I'm confused. I mean, I, I have also made bread and butter during quarantine, yeah. Have you really, like, actually? Oh, bread, yeah. Bread I, I, like, baking Baking has been, like, one of my, like, I don't got shit else going on in quarantine. Time to learn how to be a baker. So, yeah, I've made, I've made bread. I, I've, done, I've done more cooking than I've ever done mm -hmm. in quarantine. Like, I mean, a lot of people went the, the Postmate route where it's, like, they just get shit delivered. I was just cooking all sorts of shit, like steaks and Same. you know, it was like spaghetti dinners and shit, like so. Yeah, man, it it'll be a good skill for after the fact, but absolutely, damn. yeah. <coughs> I I, did, I started that as a like, this is only gonna last a month. I can eat whatever I want. And now six months later, I'm like, well, yeah. I look pregnant. I've <laughs> I, I've just recently started to reel back a little bit because I gained a <laughs> lot, a lot of weight. Me and, too, man. And I've I've like started intermittent fasting a little bit and so mm. I, i'm i have a hold on it now but wait how is that working out for you like we've been you because we've been talking about that since we've done the show like how is it how much of weight have you lost do you think do you know i, don't, I mean i i don't i don't have a scale or anything mm. um but 
just in how I feel, and I can I can see that my uh, stomach is protruding a little less. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, it's it, it's definitely helped a lot. I mean, I don't know exactly how much, but it's definitely in a much more comfortable place. Now, how does that how does that work? Like, what is intermittent fasting like? Like, is so, it like every other day or? The idea is you you have a feeding window during the day and then you have a fasting window. So what what most people will do, they'll fast for 16 hours mm-hmm. and then the other eight hours of the day, that's their feeding window. That's when all the calories for the day they're going to take in during that time. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people do it because it does boost uh, fat burning, mm-hmm. but also because you have a small – a smaller feeding window and a much bigger fasting window, you're able to be more lenient with what you eat a little bit. You know, you don't have to be so strict about, uh, you know, your, what you're eating for the day. Um, but no, I, I, I don't do it that long every day. It, it, I, I just kind of shoot for 12 hours. Um, you can still get a lot of the, the, the fat loss, um, benefits. So, I, whenever I'm done eating for the night, um, I'll just fast for the next 12 hours or so mm-hmm. and, and right before on. I eat next. Sweet. See, yeah, Justin is very healthy. Like you, I would say you've been, when did, well, see, you work out, you, you're, you, you know, you Well, do, not you anymore, try. dude. Well, That's crazy. I haven't had like a good, honest workout. My weed walks are my exercise. And mm, okay. I, I mean, I used to be... Um, really into weightlifting and, and bodybuilding and, and so the workouts that I'd like to do I can't do at all until gyms yeah. open back up which there are some outdoor gyms that that I've seen but I just don't really know if that's what I well one want to risk and then mm. two is it you know if it's not going to be the same then is it really what I want to do or would I rather just wait no. You know, yeah. so I mean, I've lost a lot of strength and muscle mass, but I, I don't know. I, I think that I think I'd just rather wait until it's a much better time to do it. Yeah. But it's crazy to think because I haven't really done other than a few home workouts here and there. I really haven't worked out since March. So it's it's mm. kind of strange to think that by the time I can go to a gym again, I might not have worked out for like a full fucking year. I know. Right. Same man. Yeah. Like I'm, I feel like I'm going back to square one. Yeah. Oh, I I'm, definitely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have bingo arms at the end of this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just try to be like, well, see the thing about like, I've stopped eating. That's my thing. I just don't eat that much in general now. Like I'll have maybe a meal a day but I'll have like a small meal later or something like that. I've been lucky because I've been able to keep the weight off. Basically, I'm not, I haven't gained anything. I've, I've maybe lost a little bit just because, but I'm not super lean. I'm, I'm kind of a big guy anyways. So like to me, I'm just, as long as I'm not gaining and I'm staying fairly consistent, I'm okay. Yeah. And it, for you know, for, I, I miss I'm dude. I miss the gym too. I was going pretty regularly at, at, up till March. You know, even just doing cardio, and I'm, I fucking miss it, man. I want to. Mm. I should walk around the neighborhood. I just I don't know. I I don't do weed walks, man. Just just a couple times with you or whatever. They're they're a great hobby to have, especially during this time. <laughs> mm. I get cold though. I get cold outside when I'm like like this. Oh, I I, I run very warm. So oh, walking okay. in like Same. when it's like sixty degrees, it's it's amazing. I wish it was colder. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, I hear you. I'm 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 I got that New England blood. So I you know anything oh, yeah. over like yeah. anything over seventy degrees is hot to me. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. I hear you. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Man, when when I was uh, when I decided to bring you on, like literally, guys, for the people watching, li- watching and listening at home or whatever you're doing, uh, we had no intention of bringing. Well, I, I'd mentioned it to you right earlier, Justin. I was like, we should think about bringing a guest on. We've been talking about doing it. This was <laughs> so just 
last minute. And mm-hmm. all I, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like stepping on Justin's toes and going like, hey, let's bring in a guest tonight. And, but, no, you fine. know, it, it was like, yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah of course. The, honestly, this, is, this has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. been good chatting with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what? So next week, uh, we we don't know what's coming. We don't. Well, unless you're using Doctor Squatch, then it's going to be you coming <laughs> a lot. I should really just hand you guys the sponsorship at this point. Do it, cowards! I know. Least, yeah, well, Doctor you know, Squatch, if you're listening, we could recreate the uh, the commercial. You and I, because I the, the 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 blonde dude has long hair. And the other guy, you could you could totally pass off as him. I think we could do this. Let's do it. That's how we're gonna win their hearts. We're just gonna shittily redo their commercial. Yeah, like what was the what was the movie with the the uh, the movie? Uh, I don't even remember where they. I fuck this. No, be don't kind. Rewind. It. That's it. That's it. Oh my god. I'm, yes. Okay. That, where they where they make recreate famous movies yeah yeah do it cheaply and weird it was really cute it's a cute movie oh my god i, I would have it. loved like a three-hour cut of that movie because i there were oh, so many movies it? yeah there were so many movies that they that they did their version of i'm like i want them to do this one and this one and this one like i i would have loved for them to just done yeah, a bunch I, of those movies i if i may make a recommendation i if if you're a fan of this movie um, one of one of my quarantine activities is I, I hopped in on this thing that they were doing back in March, uh, or uh, it filmed in March, released in July for the 40th anniversary, 45th anniversary of Jaws. Rather, they had people recreate Jaws at home using only what they had in quarantine, and they rebuilt the entire movie. And it's like got that like same charm as that movie. It's just a bunch of people like reenacting Jaws in there. Their bathtubs and their pools, and you know I do. That's a, really a, cool. How do you see it? I want to watch this. I'll 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 shoot you guys a link after. It's it's a okay. lot of fun. Like like my 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 uh my girlfriend's dog plays the mayor from Jaws at one point. We put her in a little tie, and I I do my shitty Quint impression. It's it's a lot of fun. Oh, your Quint impression is not shitty. It's amazing. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. You're welcome. Well, you know, again, we had a, a great episode, Justin. Um, where can where can people find you? Um, well, you can watch me stream some video games on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Justin underscore butts. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Justin butts 94. I think that's it. I think so. <laughs> You'll see it. <laughs> and, and our very special guest, where can people find you, Ryan? Uh, on, on all the various socials, uh, you can find me at Ryan underscore Cultrera, C-U-L-T-R-E-R-A. Because I couldn't think of a creative way to name my profiles. There you go. And you, I hear you do a show. It's pretty good. I hear, I hear you, you host or co-host a show. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh, well, Jimmy and someone who looks a lot like me uh, host a show called Sound Scary over at Video Space. Okay. And might I say, Jimmy, your co-host is is quite handsome. I don't know where oh. you found this guy, but it's impressive. Yeah, I mean, he's all right, I guess. And might yeah. I say, you have a knack for finding good co-hosts, Justin. You know, you're, you're no slouch too, man. I know. Ooh, the, applaud you. this guy, really. Mm-hmm. Like, I love this guy. Uh, bravo, bravo. Yeah, and of course, you can find me, Joe Blow, Arrow in the Head, Sounds Scary, uh, all the, 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 the social media things. I'm usually either Jimmy to the O or just james oster or whatever so Mm -hmm. fuck yeah thanks for uh thanks for tonight this is a lot of fun right guys yeah a lot of fun a lot of fun and ryan feel free to be on the show anytime oh i'd I'd love to i think next time i'm gonna not drink everclear though because oh my god yeah (laughs) no that's you drink it yes that's the point my friend something stony Well, thank right. you so much for having me, guys. This is, this has been a blast. Of course, of course, anytime. It was good to meet well, you, Justin. Yeah, dude. Likewise, likewise. Uh, I'm excited to uh, to do this more. So, Are you excited though? Really excited? Of course, I'm very yeah. excited. I'm just also very high. Yeah. Oh God. So I, anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Take it easy.